So these two pieces of bread, one says to the other, hey, look at that turkey. And the other one says, that's baloney. Get it? No, nah, not funny. Why don't we do a little animation? In this project, we're going to create a simple animation of a snowman melting. Animations in Scratch are like a flipbook or stop motion animation. So we're going to create 10 costumes and iterate one after the other after the other to create the illusion of movement. Okay, people, let's program. Now, in this project, as I mentioned, we're going to be making an animation of a melting snowman. So the first thing I'm going to do is name my program appropriately. Melt Ding, snowman. Now in this project, we are not going to use the cat. So I'm going to hover over, right click, and hit delete. Now before I create my sprite, I'm going to choose a background other than the white background because our snowman is going to be white and generally white on white does not show up very well. So I'm going to pick a backdrop from the library. So the first thing we're going to do is click on this landscape icon. And right here, blue sky with green grass. That seems to work for me. So I'm going to hit OK. Very good. And now let's build our sprite. So the first thing we're going to do is open up the drawing tool. So you see new sprite. The second icon is a paintbrush. So I click it. Okay, so basically our snowman is three white circles on top of each other. So the first thing I'm going to do is click the ellipse tool. I want to make sure that it's filled and that it's white. I'm going to draw my base circle. So I'm going to click and drag. Now I'm going to hold down shift to make sure that that circle is a perfect circle. There's circle one. Now I'm going to create a smaller circle for the abdomen same thing holding down shift so it's round and placing it on top and then my third circle its head gonna go on top of that now of course it would not be a snowman if it didn't have facial features so I'm going to zoom in on the face and add some features I'm gonna keep using my ellipse tool but I'm gonna change it to black I'm gonna make a circle for the eye, another circle for the eye. I'm going to use my drawing tool to make a smiley snowman. He's so happy. And I'm going to use my line tool and orange to create a little carrot type thing. Now for simplicity purposes, I'm not going to add arms or buttons, which is something you can do. Let me zoom back out. So now we have our snowman, and now we need to create a bunch of consecutive costumes to, to slowly convert him from a full-grown snowman into a puddle of water. So I'm going to use my select tool to make this happen. Now remember, we got to think about how many costumes we want to have in total. My, I'm shooting for 10. If you have 8 or 11, it doesn't matter. Probably more than six would be appropriate. So watch this process because we're going to do it over and over and over again. So the first thing we're going to do is copy or duplicate the costume we've created. So duplicate. So now number one's fine. We're now working on costume two. I'm going to use the select tool. I'm going to select everything above the middle of its midsection. And I'm going to take that top part and move it down just a little bit. Now I'm going to take everything above the middle of the base section and do the same thing. Now our snowman got a little smaller, so what did that produce? Some water. So I'm going to take blue, whatever blue you want. I'm going to zoom into the base and I'm going to add some water. I'm going to use my drawing tool. I might make it a little bigger. I'm going to add the beginnings of a puddle that's going to start forming on the bottom of this snowman. Okay, now you want to get it good. 
Sometimes you might want to use the fill can, could work. All right. We want to brush in this water to make it look like a puddle is forming. So now we're going to go and do that process over and over and over again. So the next thing I'm going to do is right click and duplicate the costume I just created. And now I'm working on three. And now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add a step. So I'm going to use my select tool, go from the middle of the abdomen, shrink it a little bit, go from the middle of the base, shrink it a little bit. But now I get these points kind of forming and I want to get rid of them. So I'm going to use my erase tool and kind of erase these rough edges over here. Right, so he's small, so it's still round. He's getting smaller, but he still looks like a snowman. And of course, if he got smaller, we must add to the puddle. So I'm going to add to this puddle. Don't want to. Right, you want to make the paintbrush bigger if that makes it easier. Do that. Okay. Now I'm going to duplicate costume three and work on costume four. And I'm going to continue to do this. Now that I'm on four, I'm going to start to work on its head a little bit because its head's got to melt a bit too, right? So I might just knock that down a little bit, then, then go to the erase tool, erase a little bit. And of course, draw more water. What? What? Oh, you guys, where are you? Oh, oh, there you are. Okay, so you get the hang of it? We gotta do that 10 times all together so that we have 10 costumes. The first one looks completely like a snowman, and the last one needs to look completely like a puddle with a smiley face, two eyes, and that little carrot thing that we stuck in as a nose. Press pause when you get your costumes created. You can then continue with the program. See you in a little bit. Now at costume 10, all I have is a blue blob, but I must, in order to make sure we have it resemble our snowman, I'm going to add the eyes. And of course the nose, orange, line tool, make sure it's not too thick. And instead of a happy face as before, I'm going to make our snowman sad because he's not very happy. He's no longer a snowman. He's a bottle of water. Okay, that was a lot of work. You're an artist. You've created a snowman. And now we need to program him. Now, I have 10 costumes. If you have 10 costumes, you're going to do exactly what I do. But if you have less or more, then when we do our repeat loop to make our animation, you are going to use what, however many costumes you have. So to do the scripting, we're going to hit the script tab. Now the event that's going to start our snowman melting is going to be the flag click. So we get the flag click. Now in program, we always want to initiate. That is to say we want our program to start the same way every time. And in this particular program, we want our snowman to start looking like a snowman. In other words, we want it to be wearing costume one. So to do that, we're going to go to looks. And we're going to say switch to costume one. We have a total of 10 costumes. So we have nine more costumes in which our snowman needs to iterate through to make it look like he's melting. So in order to do that, we're going to go to control and get a repeat. Since we have nine more costumes, we're going to repeat nine times. And what are we going to do nine times? We're going to switch to the next costume. So under looks, we're going to do next costume. 
The only problem is this is going to happen so fast that it's not going to look like anything. So in order to make it look like an animation, we have to slow it down just a little bit. We have to, then that's a control thing. So it's going to be under control, and we're going to use wait. Now, waiting a second is way too long. It'd take 10 seconds. It would be a long, drawn-out animation. So I'm going to wait a half a second and see how that looks. 0.5. And now I'm going to run my program and see what happens. Well, that seemed very choppy, so I'm going to actually make it happen faster by waiting, let's say, 0.2 of a second or one-fifth of a second. And now I'm going to hit the flag. And there you go. We have a melting snowman. So you could play around with the scripting. You could make it faster, make it slower. You could go edit your costumes to make them look better if you feel you need to. But you have now created an animation of a melting snowman. Congratulations. Now, if it happens to snow by you sometime this winter, you make sure you get out there and build a real snowman because that's fun too.